How's your hand? So I'll stand up there a little bit. My hand's good. Good? Yeah. Did something happen? Nah. Nothing happened. <laughs> I'm good. Hey, you guys were seem like a whole lot better offensively when you guys were attacking the rim and not just kind of sitting on the outside and, and putting up threes. I know some of those threes were open shots. It's hard to pass those up. But yeah. when you guys were attacking the rim, was that sort of what the message was today is just keep attacking that rim? I mean, we just weren't making shots. So we talked about it at halftime that we were making shots and we need to get to the basket. So I think that's what we all decided to do. And the guards penetrated pretty easily the last game. They did the same thing this game. So uh, got the bigs involved and then drive kick out shots and stuff like that. Jay, I'm going to uh, the play about a minute left. I think it was Jamal and this uh, last and you guys were just trying to get, uh, trying to just let those guys drive and he missed them and you had the follow slam and you guys were over the fight too right then. Can I describe the play and how big that ended up being for you guys? Um. All of us are capable of making plays like that, so I don't, I don't think it was anything special. But um, it was special. You were up two and just missed. You guys needed a play right there. I'm just crashing the glass. I think that was a vocal point for Coach P. I mean, he was telling me to crash the glass all game. So, I mean, I crashed the glass when. How much did Jamal have? He had 24. So our, he had a good game. So. Um, he sucked in the defense, and I just got a wide open lane to grab the offensive rebound and dunk it. Jay Moore on the crash of the glass. Uh, how much is more is that on you the rest of the regular season and the conference tournament to, to get some more wins? Um, I haven't been crashing the glass. Uh, I think like, they keep stats and everything. And they, every other game they say like 30% of the time I crash and everything, so I'm trying to get it up to maybe 60, 70. So, you know, uh, obviously it's effective. So um, that'll just be in my head after each game. How much is your, it feels like your role on the team throughout the season has evolved in certain ways, whether because guys are out and they're asking you to do different things. How, how have you been handling that? It's like week by week, they're asking you to do something different. Um, just adjusting and, you know, uh, knowing what's best for the team. We're obviously shorthanded, so I mean, there's not much of anything I could say about it. So uh, I'm just gonna have to go out there, do what I do, and you know, do it to the best of my ability. Coming off of this win, heading into the final two of the regular season, where do you think your guys' mindset is? Like, do you think you've kind of recovered from that road trip heading into these next two? Um, obviously, there's things to work on. We're a young team and everything, so um, I'm sorry that. Question slipped my brain. You You're good. Just what's the mindset heading into the final two? Um, just play hard and be scrappy and be a gritty team. I mean, I think that's our identity. So um, we can play with anybody in the league as long as we're focused and we're playing hard and our energy's up on the bench, on the court. So I think that's just our mindset.